before you even know it. In fact, the first day of the new season comes this week on Thursday. Now, here's how to get your car ready for the season to come. I'm here with Lauren Fix from the Car Care Council. We're getting cars ready for warmer weather. So what do we need to do? There's a lot of pollen in the air. Yeah. And your car doesn't want to breathe it, and neither do you. That's true. So we replace the engine air filter because it'll affect your fuel economy and your performance. And the passengers will also won't have to breathe that. So you want to replace your cabin air filter. Okay, that really makes a difference. Um, in addition, you're going on a road trip most likely. The weather's starting to change. Get some 50-50 premix antifreeze or coolant. Same thing. Check your overflow tank. If you don't know where it is, look in your owner's manual. You can top that off, make sure it's correct. This is something that's really important, batteries. This has to do with starting your car and keeping your car running. If you see white foam all over your battery posts, that's something that needs to be cleaned up. Very easy to do. Baking soda and some water, an old toothbrush. Just go and scrub it, get rid of all of it, and you'll have a good contact. And it's Perfect. You think about that when it's cold out, but it's important to know to check it when it's warm. Too. Right. Anytime you see that buildup of corrosion, you know that there's a problem. Now, when it comes to wiper blades, visibility is 80% of your driving distance. Uh, you might want to get some alcohol wipes, wipe down the blades, so you have a better sweep and better clear sight. That's really important. Also, wash your windshield, and if you need to get new wiper blades, every six months you should be replacing your wiper blades. And you mentioned pollen. If mm -hmm. that's all coated on your paint, does right. that mess up the car too? Well, it will. Eventually, it'll, it'll cut into the clear coat, so wash your car once a week. Make sure to use automotive soap. Okay. That's really important. Um, lastly, check your tire pressure once a month. Get a dial gauge or a digital tire pressure gauge. Check it against the number inside your driver's door, it'll really make a difference when it comes to the price of gas, because this will give you the best fuel economy. Well, thanks so much. You're saving us money, giving us great tips. Back to you guys. All right, before you and your car deal with spring, though, some of you will face a rather